I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 10. We're finally... Ooh! Didn't realise that was there. Didn't realise there was a sand crawler all the way out here. But yes, double digits, baby! We're finally in double digits. It only took us, what, three, four months now? But hey, we're getting there. I mean, we're nearly done on Tatooine already. I wouldn't be surprised if we finished on Tatooine in this episode. And in fact, that is going to be the plan. Eh. So, last time, uh, we met Andronicus... And uh, you're on trial for the lost artifact on the trial, the trial of the lost artifacts to the horde, which I believe to be the key secret ritual. So something, yeah. With the help of the Empire and Andronicus Ravel, you managed to locate the base where Sil Silas Wilkes and the artifact were hidden. Andronicus insisted on coming along to get his revenge. Hi, Andronicus. Yeah, because he just kind of wants to kill him. So we're gonna try and sneak in. Um, not sure how successful I'll be, but I'll be able to show you in a matter of three seconds. Two, one. Not very! Why do I get the feeling as soon as I walk into the space, Wilkes is going to be all like, Sorry, your artifact is in another castle. Oh wait, that's the wrong game. No! I wanted a stealth! Damn it, I accidentally clicked that button instead of my stealth, so now I've got to fight these people. No, I've got to fight these people! What the heck is a mutineer? Sky Princess mutineer. Ooh, bonus mission to kill six! Uh, I mean, it's only six. There's one there, and there's one there. So, yeah, I, I, eh. uh, why not? I always contemplate it, but I always end up doing it anyway. Sometimes, even purely by accident, I just end up doing it because all the enemies are in my way anyway. That's mostly on a character I can't stealth on, though. Oh, level 23 as well. Ah, oh, this day is just getting better and better. Hi, mutineer. I don't know why I did that when I'm nowhere near you. And say goodbye to your life. Cool. I'll take all this loot, even though I don't really need it. My phone is vibrating. What is my phone saying? Uh, events re this week around my hometown. Wow. Exciting. I'm putting it on uh, silent because I don't want to be vibrating whilst I'm recording. Professionalism. Okay, I need one more. And would that one more be over there? Why, yes, it would. Give me my credits, please. Thank you. I don't know if I got any credits or anything. I don't know what I got for that bonus mission. I got... Uh... Experience. Just experience. Okay, well... I guess that'll do. Eh. Uh, I need to do this thing, I believe. I'm gonna blast Wilkes to pieces just as soon as we find him. Well, he's probably behind this door. Like... Right there. Okay. Um, why didn't you just automatically do it? Oh, whatever. Well, well. Andronicus Revel. I'm surprised they let you out of Imperial Prison. And you brought a Sith to help you. Hi. How cute. But see these guys? They'll crush you and your Sith. Cute? I am not cute. I am deadly. Let me guess. You're here for the artifact. The one the Empire was so keen on getting just before I crushed Andronicus. Would you believe he called me a nobody? A worthless, mangy, skinny little nobody? Andronicus! So I took his ship, his crew, his cargo, his blasters, and what else? Oh, his girl. Who's nobody now, Nikki? I'm gonna rip out your throat and laugh while you try to scream. Ah. Uh... Not if I get to him first. We'll see who lands the killing blow. You'll never beat me, and you'll never get your artifact. Boys, kill the Sith, but keep Andronicus alive. I'll want to play with him a little longer. <laughs> oh. I mean, a lot. I've killed Sith Lords, who would probably definitely crush you. Um, so I'm just going to point out I'm going to crush you too, because I have heroic moments. What do you have? Do you have heroic moments? Things. Do you also have a flamethrower in your uh, dress? Didn't think so. I don't. Well, you're not even wearing a dress, but you know. Bye, Silas. And dead. Once this blows up. Okay, maybe not. There we go. You, you idiots! You'll never get it now. Not the artifact. Not the blasters. Nothing. We beat you. Now tell us where they are. You're so stupid. The great Andronicus Revel chases me across five planets only to fail. He even gets a Sith on his side, and they both fail. 
Talk sense. The artifact. It's cursed. It's cursed. Yeah, I figured that one out. They... they took it. Just like I took it from you. Took it all. The blasters, the artifact, the money. Tell us where they took it. Chase them if you like. They went out into the deep desert. Joy. They left weeks ago. The sand people will eat you before you ever catch them. I've heard enough. Now give me one good reason not to blast your teeth through the back of your skull. Uh, yes, please. I'll let him kill. I'll let him do the honor. It's, it's his kill. Do it. Maybe he'll finally shut up. Greatly approved. I've been waiting to do this for a long time, Wilkes. Can't say it was nice knowing you either. Huh. I have no regrets, Andronicus. Least of all this. Idiot. Lost your artifact and my special made blasters. Just wait until I get my blaster pointed at those thieves. Less talking, more hunting. Come on, the sooner we get out there, the better chance we have of showing them thieves what's what. How exciting, Andronicus likes my dark side. Look at all that influence, level 2 now. Uh, I like he says how the sand people will get you. No, because I'm quick traveling and then I'm going to be using the taxi. Sand people aren't going to get me. Oh, you might have noticed as well, I'm actually nearly level 25. So once I get to level 25 on one character, I should, I believe, get one set of the uh, packs. The Dark vs. Light packs, if I recall. Yes, I'll get that. Um, however, I'm not actually going to be opening them uh, until, uh, I guess, either the event finishes or um, once we reach the end of the actual class story. Um, preferably at the end of the class story. Um, I've still got a bunch of recording that needs to do. I, remember I said ages ago I was going to do a bunch of recording. Yeah, that, that, that hasn't happened. But I know they're not going to end the Dark vs. Light event until what? Octoberish time, Novemberish time. When Co I, it's going to be when Kotet uh, arrives. So we got, we still got quite a while. Actually, no, October is like next month. Oh God, I got to start recording now. Uh, apparently, they're around here somewhere. Hello, you're around here somewhere. Apparently, I'm just going to stealth, just just to be on the safe side. Um, oh, so there are some. Oh, there's some people. Okay. Um, is the artifact in here? Well, I'll kill, I'll kill these guys, because I have no idea where the artifact is, and hopefully it's in here somewhere. Oh, and there's a bonus mission to kill the sand people as well. I uh, can't be bothered. I love how the real is more difficult to fight than the actual sand people are. It's very cute. Ah! Read the date pad. We've been in this desert three days now. About midday the day we left, Nerek tried to, bur to turn back, but Hayes would have none of it. We couldn't have Nerek. Okay. We forced Nerek to continue at gunpoint. At nightfall, we got together to talk about what to do about Nerek. Hayes wanted to shoot him, but Hayes wants to shoot everyone. But the sa then the sand people attacked and took care of Nerek for us. Ever since that first night, we kept a watch to warn us if the sand people attack. Not, without, not that does it any good. Without the lights from town, you can't see anything in the desert at night. Tomorrow, if we're still alive, we plan to head north. Okay, just, just, just heading north. Is that it? Data pad. According to the data pad, yeah, shut up. According to the data pad, the thieves headed in this direction. This direction, yeah, yeah, this direction. All right, let's, let's, let's go, shall we? Let's go. Are we there yet? Ah. More sand people. Well, I'm going to uh, kill all of you because, yeah, apparently my stealth thing didn't work. Oh god, I could feel a sneeze coming on at some point. Uh, get some tissue, dry my eyes. I would say blow my nose, but nah, if I do that, I will definitely sneeze. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Ooh, a sail in the Dune Sea sand people. Is that the last one? Uh, no, but apparently I've done that one. Okay, so I need to do the mystics. Okay, so I need to do a lot of the mystics. And then I would have been done with that achievement. Alright, 
Is there a data pad in here as well? It looks like there is. Hello, data pad. Oh, what? How can they see me through a tent? Oh, at least that was a mistake. And look, we've nearly done the bonus. See what I mean earlier? We accidentally do it anyway. First Neric, then Jack, then Hayes. Now Ford. I don't think I could take it anymore. I really think Pal is trying to kill me. He said it was the sand people who got Hayes and Jack, but he's lying. I can tell. He killed them while they slept. Hayes because he had the artifact. Jack because he accused Pal of killing Hayes. If I hadn't seen the sand people kill Ford and Neric with my own eyes, I'd think it was all Pal. I just hope he doesn't find this or I'm next. We plan to head east in the morning. I hope I live to see it. You're not gonna. Whoa, whoa who was that? Hello. Hi. Damn it, Sam people! How the hell did you heal yourself? Oh, damn you, Mystic. Of course it was you, wasn't it? Well, I mean, at least it's account to the achievement. Hooray. Oh, what? I'm gonna kill these guys as well. Well, I better not attract those attention as well. I'd be annoyed if I attract their attention. Well, I'm gonna be doing the bonus mission at least. Hooray. I was level 27 as well. This data pad says the thieves went this way. It can't be much further. Well, no, it can't. But how how did I just defeat a level 27? Well then. Oh, we're nearly level 24 as well. Hooray. Go that way now. Joy. Can I sneak through here without being seen? It's probably going to be a no because they've seen me every time so far. Um, and you anyway. I'll do that to you. And then. Oh, for God's sake. Oh god, I've attracted a lot of attention here. I'd lost you there. Um, well, I'm level 24. H -h Hooray. Um, but now... They're attacking me. I don't know why you've, you're have you acting like you've been shocked. I didn't exactly shock you. Um, or maybe it was something Andronicus did. Probably. Okay, you dead. Ah, just the guy who's going crazy. Oh no, there's another one there as well. Any more? Anyone else want a piece of me? Because I'm killing all your friends. So it's proof that you're not going to win as well. Oh, hello. How you doing? It's all over now. Powell's gone raving mad. Raving mad. He accuses Beckus of trying to kill him at the last campsite and shot him. We were already deep into sand people territory at the time, so the blaster shot drew all kinds of unwanted attention. Those beasts had us on the run for three days. Out of the 15 of us that started, there's only me and Powell left. Now Powell's talking about taking the artifact to the Sand People's camp to the north as a peace offering. I tried to tell him there's no way we'll walk away from those beasts camp alive, but he wouldn't listen. Fine, Powell's body. Wow, you're so certain that he's gonna ha he's gonna be dead. Well, okay then. Maybe I'll be successful sneaking past this time, but I highly doubt it. Look, see, been seen again already. These sound people are slime ofos. His body is in the tent. What were they gonna do with his body? Oh, hello again. Hi. Damned idiotic, nerve-hurting sons of huts. They got away. Oh, I can't. No, I can't shock him. They were killed and possibly eaten. There's a difference. What? It doesn't bother you? These idiots run off with your artifact and you don't even get to knock them around? <laughs> I just can't figure you, Sith. It's enough to know that they suffered. <laughs> For you, maybe. I was looking forward to shooting the eyeballs out of their skulls. But you're the boss, huh, Sith? Now are we gonna get off this rock or what? The sooner the better. You mind taking me along for the ride? I'm a damn good pilot, and I've got contacts a Sith will never make on his own. It'll be your show, no questions asked. You have no intention of letting this drop, do you? Well then let's get off this rock, huh? Oh, we're done. Oh, we found- okay, we, we, we found the artifact and we're done. Okay. Fine. We've got to go to our ship's hangar, not actually go to our ship. What's gonna happen at the hangar? We're gonna be attacked. Somebody tells me we are. Hello, according to the voice in my head, I'm told I need to be at the hangar. You must have Andronicus Ravel with me. Uh, okay. Uh, Casey Ricks! So you beat Wilkes and made it out of the desert alive, huh? Wilkes doesn't surprise me, but when I heard you were heading for the desert, well, 
I wasn't expecting to see either of you again. I brought Andronicus back. <laughs> you should stick with this one, Andronicus. You might learn a sense of humor. Look at I have a sense of humor. Relax. It was a joke. Anyway, I'm glad you came, because it gives me a chance to thank you for taking out that runt, Wilkes. With some real leadership, maybe the exchange on Tatooine can move ahead for a change. And don't go expecting any more favors. I don't plan on needing any. And Andronicos? I'm sorry. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff. Somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Do I flirt? I... I don't know. Ugh. Nah. Murder and mayhem await. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. Well, let's get off this rock, huh? I don't. I don't want to flirt with him just yet. Just yet. Um, the reason being is because it just doesn't make sense to just randomly start flirting with him, even though she kind of, I wouldn't say she despises him, she's just kind of like a <sighs> with him right now, and for her to just randomly flirt with him wouldn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, so we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna, I'm gonna build it up, like build it, build it up. They're, they're gonna romance, just, I like to, you know play with my characters in that sort of sense. I like to role play with my characters properly. No, it's not. It's always a displeasure with you. I have every desire, but fortunately the game won't allow it. Apprentice, you have recovered the artifact, I take it. Wonderful. Ah, Andronikos, what a pleasure to see you again. Hello yourself. Looks like you finally found your rock. Yes, thank you for leading us to it so obligingly. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful asset to my apprentice's crew. Now, apprentice, you must hurry and recover the remaining artifact. I'm giddy with anticipation. I look forward to seeing you in your glory. Okay, and Andronicos has joined us as a companion. Thank you, Andronicos. Now, we are heading to Alderaan, so let us head to Alderaan while she's still got a bit of... Actually, no! Andronicus needs to speak to us. We will we will still head to Alderaan, but Andronicus needs to speak to us. Uh, does Kem need to speak to us as well? It looks like he will. Yes, hello, Kem. My master, I have made a discovery. You remember I told you about Orton Silla, my master's apprentice, and his deshade slave? I'm certain that my fellow Shadow Assassin, Veshik Urk, lives, and my mistress's death does not yet claim him. What have you discovered? I received a call from a cloaked figure, and the place was a vault on Tatooine that my master kept. If Veshik Urk is alive on Tatooine, I must find him and speak to him. He is my last connection to my master, to my life before it took his, this cruel turn. We must get to Tatooine. Whenever you wish it, my master, I will trace the signal I received to find the exact location where Veshik is hiding. Okay! No! We're not going to Adoran, we're going back to Tatooine! Um, because we need to help Kem find that person, I forgot the name. Is it Veshik Urk? Uh... Yes! There she go. Yeah, I'm just my mind's gone blank again. Back to Tatooine! Right, where is it on Tatooine that we're actually going? We are going all the way up there, so I guess I'll quick travel there, and then I we guess we gotta walk the rest of the way. Joy. Oh god. Sam people. No! God damn it. It's the one thing I hate about Sam people is that they're very good in finding you. Like very good, and it really annoys me. I think I've decided. This star is definitely going to be my main Sith Inquisitor. Standin, my light side one, he can go to hell, to be honest. This is definitely my main, main Sith Inquisitor, because she is just way more fun to play as. Far more fun. Far more fun to play as than the, uh, than the um, you know, Sith Inquisitor. I need to dismiss you. Oh, if you need me. Uh, and I need to get... Oh, it's not that one anymore, is it? It's this thing. And get Kem out. It annoys me that it's not that anymore. I'm so used no, to that. 
Yeah, whatever. Everyone's dead, Cam. Everyone's dead. Apart from these guys. Ah, Cam, my proud friend. How long I have waited. I see you have found yourself a pet. It smells weak, but I suppose there is some potential there. I am Kemval's master, not his pet. Ah, my friend, I'm sorry. It must have been a long fall from glory. But you you always were soft, weren't you? Always favoured, always the best. If I did know better, I'd say you even loved that Sith animal you called a master. Enough! I was not weak, you were weak. A slave to that monster, Orton Seller. I know a way to shut this guy up. Foolish Kevin, foolish little sis. Orton Seller was cruel, it's true. Petty and insignificant by all accounts. That was the only reason your pitiful master trusted. Oh. Okay. Fine. Ah. I love how they're Sith followers as well. They're followers of Veshik. Interesting. But, nevertheless, Veshik will be dead in about 10 seconds. Well, I say dead. You know, there's probably going to be a conversation and whatnot. Conversation? No, oh no, he's actually dead. Alright. Uh, examine Veshik Urk's chest. It's a lovely chest, isn't it? It's a very lovely chest. It's very muscular and uh, tattoo-y. Anyway, let's examine this chest. Veshik Urk is dead, my master. Did you really think he stood a chance against me? Memory has played me for a fool. Veshik, Tulak Horde, none of them were as I remember. I thank you for your help, my master, but it was neither needed or nor desired. Now, my master, if it pleases you, then let us leave this dismal, dismal place and never speak of the ghosts again. These ghosts again, whatnot. Hooray! Experience! Like. And I've gained influence as well. Right, back to my ship, and then we'll go talk to Andronicus, and then we'll be done with this episode. Andronicus, hello. So what's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. You always a sicko, or did you just kind of fall into it like I did? Um... Power is wasted if you don't use it. And I'm not squeamish. We're gonna have a lot of fun together, huh? Yep. I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. So I put a blaster to the what head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. Did you ever hear before you said, so I put a blaster, you just heard a... <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was that was kinda weird. I don't for one moment believe you were an accountant. Well, how's this for accounting? In three years, the Sky Princess took more cargo and harassed more Republic ships than half the Imperial fleet. I'm a liar and a thief and a murderer, but I'm good. Oh, sounds like my kind of guy. I think why I do come you to know, like you. You get a pretty nice ship. It's no Sky Princess, but hey, what is? I had a ship like it once. No armor to speak of, but you don't need defense when you can maneuver like that. You're cute when you reminisce. Well, don't expect me to get all nostalgic. That ship's space junk now. But it was a thrill while it lasted. Nothing like playing chicken with a ship twice your size and then firing up his tail when he blinks. Sky Princess was great, but she couldn't do that. Would you like to fly the ship? <laughs> How do you Sith say it? My lord, it would be an honor. You just tell me where you want to go. All right, then. Fine. Um, we won't speak to Andronicus all the time in this episode, so we'll, we'll leave that one for the next episode. But it'll be the very first thing I do in the next episode, all right? Yeah, I promise you. So, that's it for this episode. Uh, we're done on Tatooine. We'll be moving on to Alderaan next time. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.